18 people die every day waiting for an organ transplant. Nearly 80 people are added to that list every day. Today on Dumb Life, we dispel the myths of organ donation and share several inspirational stories that just might convince you to be tested as a donor. Tax season is behind us for the most part, so now what do you do with all of those papers? Which documents do you have to keep and for how long? We help you figure out what to file and what to toss. Okay, a lot of us use the computer to file our important information. Is it really safe though? Coming up, we're going to talk with the Cyber Branch Chief with the Department of Defense to find out what steps you can take to keep your personal information just that, personal. And for many of us, our Facebook is as personal as it gets, but did you ever give this a thought? What happens to your online accounts when you die? We tell you what really happens to all of your family photos and moments and how difficult it can be for your family to take control of those accounts. Something else that has to be difficult, having your private life being thrown into the spotlight. We're going to talk with former Second Lady Lynn Cheney about her daughter's public spat and why she's now focusing on an historical political figure who is not her husband. And we're in the kitchen with Evo making a tomato corn and crab bisque. Delmarva Life starts right now. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hoppe. Welcome to Delmarva Live from Historic Studio D. And we'd like to start the show by... Patting you on the back. Patting you on the back. <laughs> The viewers, because, you, you know, we, you, we had Lieutenant Tim Robinson on the show the other day, and he told us that Constance Marine, who we featured on our Most Wanted Monday this week, walked into the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office this morning and surrendered herself. Get this. <laughs> she told the deputy who handled the arrest that it was because she saw herself on TV. So I guess we need to thank Constance for watching Delmarva <laughs> Live. For watching Life. Delmarva Live. Thank you, too, for yeah, participating in Monday's Most Wanted, because that's what makes it work. Absolutely. Did you happen to hear about this flying bounce house in upstate New York? I did. Absolutely Terrifying. incredible. Terrifying. Take a close look at this picture snapped by a lady who was actually there when it happened. You see that little speck up there in the oh clouds? Oh, my goodness. That is the bounce house that was picked up by a gust of wind and flew up to 50 feet in the air over an apartment building in a line of trees. That's not the big part of the story. The big part of the story is there were three children in it when it was initially picked up. A 10-year-old girl who fell out, she's got some minor injuries. Um, the thing got up to like 15 feet in the air before the two boys were dumped out, a five-year-old and a six-year-old. Oh one of goodness. them hit a car, one of them hit the asphalt. They're in pretty bad shape this afternoon. So we hope to find out more about that. The bounce house was staked down the way it should have been. Really? Parents were there, they were observing everything. Everything was going right. It looks like it was just a tragic accident. No charges or anything. It's yeah. just something that happened. I just can't imagine what was going through those parents' minds oh as that thing was floating away. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, absolutely. Well, something that we do want to see up in the sky, of mm -hmm. course, airplanes and dozens of antique airplanes will be at the annual antique fly-in at the Horn Point Aerodrome in Cambridge oh. on Saturday. I've been to this before. It is fun. Well, over 200 aircraft will be on display and in competition for antique aircraft, classic aircraft, and Jimmy's favorite, military <sighs> aircraft. Contemporary aircraft, custom aircraft, custom built aircraft, and special awards. Jimmy, you going to be there? Try to hold me back. Go <laughs> okay, ahead. Okay, well, here's the event information. It runs from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m., and the rain date, by the way, is on Sunday. If you'd like some more information, call Mike Strider at 301 440 5294. It'll be a gorgeous weekend, though, so no problem. You know, we love to pat people on the back when they do a great job. Johnny Durer is one of those guys. He's a Dover College student, he's a Polytech High School grad, and even better, he will host his premiere screening of his first feature-length film Friday at the Smyrna Opera House. Meeting the Wickersons is actually his senior project at Wilmington University, but he also plans to enter it in film festivals. Now, he says filming only took about three weeks and was mostly done in Dover. I think they took one scene out in Clayton. However, the entire process, from the very beginning to the very end, conception to editing, about yeah. eight months. How about that? So neat stuff. Yeah, that is neat stuff. And while we're passing out, I guess, pats on the back, how about one for our friends at the Sussex County Federal Credit Union? They received a very prestigious award. In this picture, you'll see the credit union CEO, Pam Fluett and Deb Jewell, receiving the champion for Children Award from Sussex County Health Promotion Coalition Board, President Daryl Mead and Vice President David Miller. The Sussex County Federal Credit Union and its charitable foundation were recognized for their positive impact on hundreds of children in Sussex County. What a great bunch. Mm -hmm. Just like them a lot. Um, do you like animals? Are you an animal lover? We need you. Here's <laughs> why. The Maryland Department of Public Safety and Correctional Services is looking for local families to volunteer 
as weekend hosts for puppies in training. Here's the deal. The puppies are actually service dogs for disabled military veterans. Uh, there are six puppies that are being trained by inmates at the Eastern Correctional Institution, but the prison could take 14 more if enough families like you will step up. Now, the dogs are going to spend their weekends in private homes to experience family life and other things that they can't normally learn about while they're in prison. If you'd like to learn more about this program, all you have to do is go to our website, DelmarvaLife.com. Yeah, maybe you're a cat lover. <laughs> or a kitten lover, and how could you not be after this? One of the most lovable things about kittens <laughs> is the high level of cute. And we've got a whole bunch of them. Well, it just gets even cuter. <laughs> you know what I had somebody say about this? Yeah. Oh, look, popcorn kittens. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> how about that? I love this. Uh, this is one of those things I could just sit and watch all day long. <laughs> just saying. Well, still ahead on Delmarva Life, we speak with Lynn Cheney, the former second lady of the United States. Find out how she's been keeping busy now that her husband is out of office. Plus, Ms. Cheney weighs in on what it's like living in the public eye, including when family spats make headlines. It's probably something you've never thought of, but do you know what would happen to your online accounts in the event of your death? Well, think about this. Yeah, a lot of us do a lot of things, maybe everything online. Just wait till you hear what happens in a lot of cases and what's being done to change it. From personal accounts to personal documents, you probably have plenty of paperwork left over now that tax season is in the books. From receipts to pay stubs, we'll learn what documents to toss in your files and which to toss in the trash. Organ donation, that's a pretty personal decision. You've probably heard a few things about the entire process. But you're gonna find out what's fact and what is fiction. WWC's Michael Chesney will also stop by to share the story of a Delmarva woman who desperately needed a kidney. The odds were against her, but she overcame them. You don't wanna miss this heartfelt story. Delmarva Life will be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.